Hello, fun you being? Hi, how you doing? And today we're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 6, Episode 7. Super, super pumped to get back into Buffy! Goodness, we just watched an Angel episode. Um, very, very interesting. Um, that one was so well done. Really, really enjoyed that one. The last Buffy episode was a fucking Halloween episode. Y'all already know I adore Halloween episodes, so I was fucking pumped. Goodness, recently it's just been banger after banger banger with these episodes so i am super pumped to get into this one like i already said i have a couple packages i should have checked my p.o box before i started filming but i will do that later but um yeah so the last time that happened i was just trying to think it was the body episode i think uh let's hope it's not to that level you know <laughs> Please, I can't do that today, please. I have errands to run after this and I have to go to a doctor's appointment after this. If I have to watch that level of an episode, please, please don't do that to me today. Please, please, Buffy gods, just for today. Don't do that to me, please. <laughs> this episode, super pumped to get into it. Um, What has been happening that could possibly happen in this episode? Last episode was not really anything to like lead into this one. Um, oh, the three bozos. Are they coming back in this episode? I don't know, because they didn't mention them at all in the last episode. And I was expecting the last episode to be like the end of that whole thing. So maybe they come back in this episode? I don't fucking know. Ah. Listen, again, I, I will forgive you if you just let that one just stop right there. I'm okay with letting that little thread just stay there. I'm fine. I, I, <laughs> these three posos, I swear to God, if I see them again, they're gonna have to answer to me. They're gonna have to answer to me and these motherfucking hands, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, honestly, uh, I'm just stalling now. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I watching the right file? What the fuck is this? Is that the new title sequence? Oh my god, is this in 16-9? <gasps> oh, no, Chira, Chira, no, don't, yeah, it, I'll talk to you about that another time. We got the written and directed, oh. <laughs> Please, I'm nervous. Every single night, the same arrangement. I go out and fight the fight. I've been making shows of trading blows, just hoping no one knows. Righteous, now I find I'm wavering. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> this fight just doesn't mean a thing. She ain't got that swing. She does pretty well with fiends from hell. Stop it! Stop it! No! <laughs> Somehow, she's not even half the girl she. Oh. Will I stay this way forever? We all theater kids today, okay? I just wanna be alive. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Quite the cold morning, opening. Buddy. Oh my god, I love that. Did last night, you know, did anybody? Um, burst into song. Okay, I was gonna ask, are we just not gonna oh, mention that ever shit, again, shit. or? We thought it was just us. Oh, sorry. It was the song. Giles! Now I need to see Giles, come on. Look at the fact that before it happens again, because I for one. I've got a theory that it's a demon, <gasps> a dancing demon. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a theory we should work this out. I adore this. I've got a theory. It could be Bonnie's. Stop! No! <laughs> oh my yeah! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Stop! Stop! We should we'll pay the price. It's do or die. Hey, I've died twice. What can we face? Okay, we all singers up in here. I love this. They got the 
mustard. Please, oh my! Not just us. Not just us. <laughs> Fuck knows. Might be relevant. Don. Yeah, we could um. Well, I'm a has Is Don in her kleptomaniac so era? <laughs> Okay, we're Ma uh, checking out and uh, those guys are checking you out. What? Wh wh what are they looking at? The hotness of you, doofus. <laughs> Boy, you really thought I was hot? Entirely. Oh my god. I'm cured. I want the boy. <laughs> Please, Tara! Because <laughs> I'm not large with the butch. I'm just... It didn't seem so sad though. Tamara getting the spotlight like she deserves. Let's go. It's magic I can tell. I love that. Spirits and charms in the air. I always took for granted. You make me believe. It's okay, why am I about to like tear up? I love them. But she she really is under her spell. Tara, we have to have a discussion. Searching like the sea. Oh, do you so helplessly? You make me complete. Floating. Lesbians can't really do anything. You make me I bet they're not even working. Who now? Willow and Tara. So <laughs> with each other, the get a roominess to them. I bet they're singing. They're singing right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's entertaining. Whoa! My guys start dancing around me. I don't know if I can deal. <laughs> It's a flat thing. So, waffles? The love we've known can only grow. There's just one thing that, no, I'll never tell. Cause there's nothing to tell. Do they both have a secret that they're hiding from each other? What? He snores. She wheezes. They housework and he freezes. His penis got diseases from a shoe moss tribe. The vibe. She clings. She's needy. She's also really greedy. She never. His eyes are beating. This is my verse. Hello. She. Oh my god. Hey, I'm dancing crazy. I adore this. Truly. Truly. It reminds me of Grease, which if you don't know, Grease is literally one of my favorite movies ever. Nothing to see, move it along. I'll never tell. <laughs> I the love these songs it's so it's much. It's like a nightmare about a play. But uh, as far as I can tell, these people burnt up from the inside and spontaneously combusted. Has this all been one shot? Oh my god. I'm helping you as much as I can. I remain immune, happy to say. Why? No! I want them to sing! Come on! Spike! Any idea what's causing this? You just come to pump me for information. What else would I want to pump you for? I really just said that, didn't I? Yeah, well... <laughs> glad you could stop by. He is under the... Stop he it. is singing. What? He doesn't want to sing with her. I'm done. So many years ago. Yes! <laughs> you can make me feel like it isn't so. I'm saying stay away and let me rest in peace. Let me rest in peace. Yes! <laughs> let me get some sleep. Let me take my love and bury it in a hole. Six foot deep, you know, you got will and slave. I love this. <laughs> and let me rest in I need peace. this on my Spotify playlist immediately. Leave me be and 
I'm glad you guys made up. What? <gasps> that fight you guys had about magic and stuff? <gasps> it gives me belly rumblings when you guys fight. She is in her kleptomaniac era. Okay, Dawn. Please get a hobby. Does anybody even care? Oh my god, my soul just left my body right there. Oh my god. Poor Dawn, she didn't even get her own number. God, the music in this episode, obviously. I mean, oh god. I adore it. My god! We fuck it up! Fuck it up! Fuck it up! Why'd you run away? Don't you like my style? Why don't oh my you god! All those hearts lay open that must sting. Plus some customers just die combusting. That's the penalty. Oh my god. When life is you brought me down and doomed this town. So when we blow this scene. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait she? Summon the demon? Like accidentally or something? I'm just worried this whole session's gonna turn into some training montage from an 80s movie. <laughs> is it not? Come on. I'm let down. You're not ready. For the world outside I wish I could say the right words to lead you through this land wish I could play the father and take you by the hand the cries around you you don't hear at all God this is so good I'm, I'm about to cry to Giles please call. In the irony of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with my memory, you made me believe. I don't wanna go. Is Charles about to leave? No, 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 no. And it'll grieve me because I love you so. Wish I could stay. So, what's gonna happen? Where are they going? Excuse me? Looky, looky, what up? Spike, no. <laughs> Isn't that what you sang? Spike sing a little song? Would you say it was a breakaway pop hit or more of a book number? Let it go, sweetie. I, <laughs> I hope you dance till you burn. You and the little bit. Okay, um, emotions are rising up in here. I will. Torch I bear is scorching Okay. So okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing right there? <laughs> episode is fucking insane where there's life there's hope every day's a gift wishes can come true with so well you work so hard all day just be like other girls she needs back home I need don't give talk. me songs give me something to sing about I'm getting goosebumps. I love this. There was no pain, no fear, no doubt, till they pulled me out <gasps> of heaven. <gasps> this is 
is the way that they find out? Are you kidding? So give me something to sing about. Oh my god, this episode. Are you kidding? Please. Poor girl. She's fighting for her life, literally. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Life isn't bliss. Life is just this. Eat up, 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 eat up. You get along. The pain that you feel, you only can heal by living. The hardest thing in this world is to live in it. Okay, you didn't have to write that up. Oh God. Sander? Well, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I just thought there were gonna be dances and songs. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Worked out just fine. Does this mean that I have to <coughs> Yeah. Be your queen? Yeah. <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> I think we'll wave that cross just <laughs> Dude, it's like, you know what? Smiles, I'll let this one pass. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> he's really just here for the chaos he's like okay bye <laughs> hope y'all have fun bye <laughs> quite the episode where do we go from here they're still singing the battle's done and we kind of won <laughs> so we sound won. our victory cheer when does the end appear? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Come on, Spike. Hey, I'm still singing in the. <gasps> yes, yes, you yes, go yes. Back inside. This isn't real, but I just wanna feel. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <gasps> I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Was that real or was that like under was I'ma take it as being canon and like, you know, canon in the sense of like they actually wanted to do that and they weren't forced to do that. Please tell me that was real. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna literally lose my fucking mind right now. Oh my god. Li Are you fucking kidding me? Duh. That was so fucking good! <laughs> god damn it! I'm literally gonna make lose it. Okay. Okay. I need to settle down. God, I am literally sweating. I. <laughs> Okay, let's get out my packages. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, this is what I got literally in most of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So season six, episode seven, I'm finally there. So a dump, right. <laughs> so many warnings, I, I applaud you guys. Oh, oh my god, wait. Oh. I fucking, oh my god. Wait, this is so cool. If only my car had a fucking CD player. Ugh. The world does not want to see me win. Oh, there's like behind the scenes pictures. Oh my god. I adore this so much. God, that's so freaking cool. Ah. 
goodness. Thank you so much, hey, Dong. That was, I love this. It's gonna be back here for the rest of eternity. Now this one is from Victoria. And yep, <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> goodness i love how <gasps> oh my god look at that that is so fucking beautiful oh my god oh adore it adore it <laughs> sorry this episode didn't end too well for them but maybe it will cheer you up i was literally about to say oh, of course the one episode where like it ends like that but Oh my god, the artist usually does, like, full-size glass piece. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh, this is their Instagram if you want to get one. The Marvelous Miss Mosaic. Thank you so much, Victoria. Ah, I love this so much. Oh. And yes, I do keep literally all of the letters that you guys send me because I love them so much. And um, now I get to add this bad boy up there. There you go. Ah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Victoria. That was amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> and now for the last one from Keith. It says, uh, open after watching. <laughs> so let's get into it. Is... <gasps> no fucking way. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my- Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Now I have one that is literally like unsealed. Oh my god, is this like the entire- Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it! I love how writers write in their scripts. It is so interesting to me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm so excited about this. Oh. oh God. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God. Oh. And then again, this was from Keith. Keith, thank you so much for this. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I adore it. Oh. <laughs> now I have two of them. Oh my God. I love that for me. I was a little nervous that some of you, like one of those was going to be a duplicate, but... Not too bad. I love it so much! <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, I'm guessing uh, this episode was called Once More with Feeling, which I feel like I've seen that before. This, like, this as a poster, I feel like I've seen that before. And I thought that was fan art for... <laughs> I thought it was fan art because there's this TikToker that does, like, book reviews and on her wall, it had, like, that poster, but I always assumed it was, like fan art or something but the it's actually like real art from the show that is so fucking cool okay so um okay yeah with this is what i figured uh it's called once more with feeling it has a 9.7 rating wow what did hush have because i feel like hush was the one that had the highest rating that i've seen so far yeah hush also had a 9.7 so Oh my god. And they're both amazing for, like, completely different reasons. Oh god. And, of course, written and directed by Joss Whedon. Goodness gracious. This episode... Oh my god. I... <laughs> Literally, I'm gonna lose it. I... This was so good. I'm, like, at a loss for words. Like, I don't even know what to say after, like, watching such an amazing episode. I'm like... Uh, what am I even gonna say? <laughs> oh! Goodness. And it's also funny that I just edited season 5, episode 7, Fool for Love, um, that video for, from last season. And so an entire season later, it took Spike an entire fucking season since that point where like you know he actually tried to kiss her that was the first time that he tried to kiss her, to this where it's like their first like real kiss you know obviously they had their kiss in this what was it fuck was it the robot it was a robot episode i think so they had that one but like you know and then I literally i'm gonna lose it i <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding?
Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's how... That's how that ends? That's... Yeah, I was nervous while watching. I was like, is this too good to be true? I'm really, really nervous that, like, the next episode's gonna start and they're gonna, like, get away from the kiss. Be like, so now the spell's done, right? Or something like that. I'm so fucking nervous, but hopefully it's, like, a real kiss and, like, they did that out of their own free will, not, like, you know, the end of the spell. But the last couple, like... Like, the last scene made me so confused because the guy left, but they kept singing. And I was like, is this just them wanting to sing? I mean, yeah, sure. Go for it. But, uh, I want to watch it again. Let me watch it again. Literally fucking iconic. Fucking amazing. Oh my Oh, and like the last like surge of music. God damn it! Oh, it's so good. Oh God. And like I said in the episode while I was watching, uh if you guys have not seen Greece with John Travolta and Olivia Newton John, it is so oh god. That was like one of those movies that I had on DVD when I was a kid. So I watched it like a thousand times while I was a child and it is so fucking good. I, I still watch that movie to this day because I love the numbers so much, like the singing and everything. Mm, it's so good. And I don't know, it just had like a similar vibe where like Grease, when I was a kid, I thought it was very like being realistic and like it was, um, I thought that the movie was made in, like, the 50s for some reason. But, like, it's a movie, like, that's kind of spoofing and, like, kind of making fun of, like, how it was back then. So, like, watching it now is, like, a completely different experience. But anyways, anyways, the whole, like, you know, vibe of, like, you know, it's a musical, but they're making fun of the musical genre. But, like, they're also just making fun of, like, everything and, like, they're just having a fun time with it. It just reminds me of that. And I, oh, God, it is so good. Mm. Like... When they first started and, like, everyone started singing, I was like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> like, obviously, good and, like, cold opening. Amazing. But they just kept getting so much better. I just really, really liked it. I really did. Goodness. Also, everyone being able to sing this cast. Iconic. Beautiful. Amazing. And, oh. Wait, actually, I want to see what the script says for the last scene, because I'm just that big of a bike stanny. Give me a moment. <laughs> so the music swelling at the end is written, the music, and in parentheses, and who can blame it, swells. <laughs> and we hear a final, where do we go from here? I love, I love, I love it. I am just... Adore it. I adore it so much. And, like, the fact that every single character had a moment where something would happen for them or, like, they had some sort of movement with their own individual arc is just so good. Like, God, I just love this episode. And, um, not necessarily like this but there was an episode like this in supernatural where like there was um okay long story but um in the show there's like these set of books that are like exactly what sam and dean go through like it's like their life in book form and there's like a big fandom for the books and these kids in high school they make a, a musical based on the books and they go and see the musical yada yada so like the entire episode there's a couple scenes that are like they're Basically, like, the characters are singing it, but it's these characters, or these kids as the characters singing it. It's not necessarily the characters, Zine and Sam and Cass and all of them singing. So, um, I have seen this sort of thing happen before, where, like, it's a bunch of, like, you know, music throughout the episode and all that. But this was just, like, amazing. And again, each, <sighs> like, with Supernatural, it was, like, near the end of the show, kind of. It was, like, in that season 12 or something. So it wasn't necessarily, like, you know, the characters moving and, you know, changing and everything. It was more reminiscent and it was more like, oh, they've grown so much since the beginning of the show. Not necessarily. Not, uh. It was more, oh, we've gone through so much and this is fun to recap and it's fun to, you know, have fun on the show. With this, it was just like, 
It's just a completely different thing. Anyways, I don't know why I even mentioned it. But, like, I've seen this sort of thing, like, singing in shows. Um, I haven't seen... Have I seen, like, a musical musical episode on a show before? I think they did one on Scrubs. I don't know why I'm remembering that one. <laughs> that one was funny. But, yeah, just, again, I just love how each... It's not necessarily just, you know, oh, it's a fun episode. It just continues with the plot. And it was just so fucking good. And again, so we have, um, let's talk about uh, Anya and uh, Xander. That was so like, mm, I love it. It's kind of a continuation of, was it last episode? Was it last episode or the episode before? Yeah, it was last episode. It was a Halloween episode. Um where Xander announces the engagement, but then he immediately is like, wait, am I ready for this? I don't know, but you know, what am I doing? And then Anya is shown in this episode to also have similar, like, am I doing the, am I doing this correctly? Or am I, should I be marrying this guy? What am I doing? And like, they keep like pointing out little things about each other, like that annoy them. But I just, it is very well done. I really liked it. And um, it was sort of showing like, Whenever, like, big decisions like that, like, are, like, faced or, like, a character or, like, honestly, anyone, uh, any person has to, like, make a huge decision like that with another person, your brain automatically is like, well, let me come up with, like, 500 different, like, little, little things that, like, this person does to annoy me to, like, maybe sway how I view this whole ordeal. And, um, so I don't know. It just was very, like, realistic to how, like, I mean, I've never been married, but, like, how I feel like you would feel in the coming months before you get married. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just so glad Xander and Anya are, like, getting more, like, screen time and more of, like, the script to work with so that, like, they can have some of, you know, some character development with themselves. Because I feel like, um, not necessarily just last season, but season four, oh my god, it was like, nothing was happening with them. It was like, oh my god, please, give Xander something. Um, so to see, I just really like it. Um, and then we had, um, Tara and Willow. Tara and Willow, I love their little, they're so cute. I love them all so much. And Tara is fucking hilarious when she, and the guys were checking her out and she's like wait i'm cured wait but <laughs> they are so fucking funny i adore them and then also i wasn't sure but <laughs> looking back on her now i'm like oh goodness gracious was the <laughs> you make me complete Do I just have, like, a horrible mind? But anyways, um... <laughs> yeah, so then, um, we have the... Right after that, I think? Oh, no, no, The... I'm so confused on how this demon came about. So did Xander get the necklace to the maggot? Like, did he order it? And then the demon, like, followed it, and then when... Dawn stole it and took it, like, put it on immediately after she put it on. Then the demons, like, showed up, took it, took her, and was that what was happening? I don't know, honestly. But yeah, the fact that the three bozos aren't the ones that are behind this, I was like, I thought I was so fucking smart. I was like, yeah, obviously, they're singing. It's weird. Obviously, three bozos behind it. Of course. Like, why... Uh, who else could be... No, completely different demon. Completely fucking different demon. Because <laughs> I thought, like, you know, they all want to, like, fuck with her and, like, you know, make her life weird. So I was like, yeah, this totally seemed... Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, watch the next episode that they're in. It literally be, like, super, like, serious. And, like, they, like, actually try to kill Buffy. <laughs> I just, it seems like them, you know? Like them making 
you know, her singing and all that. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's a new. So yeah, so Dawn, uh, again, in her kleptomaniac era, love that for her. Do you? <laughs> Actually, no, don't steal. Um, yeah. yeah, Dawn, honey, 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 please. Which, right before she gets kidnapped, she had a, um, a line where it was like, no one sees me or something like that. <laughs> Literally, those faces of the demons are horrendous. Like, I, they scared the crap out of me. Like, it, oh god, her turning and having... No, thank you. No fucking thank you. It reminded me of Insidious, the red demon face. Do no, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I will not be dealing with that today. But yeah, then let's talk about Buffy and also Spike. Oh my god! <laughs> Literally. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh god, I'm literally gonna cry just thinking about this episode and Spike and Buffy. Okay, so first scene, um Buffy um, he's obviously singing and- well, let's talk about, like, Buffy- God, I cannot make a coherent sentence to save my life. Um, so let's talk about, like, Buffy as well, like, during all of this. So, throughout this episode with, for Buffy, um, she has, like, this whole arc of, like, with the first song, it was, like- What was it? It was, like, what am I doing? Or- Yeah, it was just, like, how she just feels just strange and, like, just off. Walk in the park. <laughs> so yeah, she just wants to be like alive and like obviously not depressed like she has been in these episodes. But um, yeah, and then that comes back later, obviously, with her. Um, I just love these songs. Like, what was it? It was like, give me something to sing about, because she was like. Come on, buddy. I don't have a whole lot in my life, you know, worth singing about. Give me something to sing about. And, God. Uh, her saying, till they pulled me out of heaven. Oh, God. Literally. Oh, gave me goosebumps. I was like, this is how they're finding out. This is how they're finding out. A God chest and willow's face oh my god it's honestly heartbreaking having to see that oh god and then you know the whole tara thing tara obviously knows about what has been happening she has like a spell literally on her um by willow and oh god and poor tara tara was given willow the cold shoulder she's like yeah, Willow, let's not do as well, God. And Willow was like, okay, okay. <laughs> like, she was, like, so, like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah why you gotta be snippy? And, which, going back to that, Giles also had a little number in this episode. And that was so fucking sad, seeing him, like, which, why didn't Buffy hear Giles sing when she could hear everyone else sing? I don't understand. And also, Tara was also singing. And then as soon as she actually said something, like, in the dialogue, then Willow was like, oh my god, you're here. And I was like, did you not hear her singing? <laughs> but, um, whatever. I will look past it for the plot. But yeah, just having that whole, like, thing with Giles as well, where he's like, Am I doing the right thing? Are you going to be growing up? What am I doing here? Like, you know, you got to be an adult as well. I don't know. That scene was just very well done with how, like, Buffy was doing her little black backflips and everything, and Giles is singing. 
So good. So fucking good. But yeah, then Tara finds out about the flower, and then she's doing, you know, they do a little duet, a little thing. Kind of, oh, just puffy and spiked. Let's get back to them. Then this episode. Oh, God. The first scene with them where he's singing and is like, let me rest in peace, leave me alone, basically. Because, you know, with Buffy always there, it's like, you know, how can he rest in peace and, you know, not have to, you know, be obsessed with her 24-7. And I adore it. I truly do. And Buffy literally sprinting, sprinting away after that. Honestly, same. <laughs> God, I just, it's just so good. Just so good. So good, God damn it. Oh, God. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but my favorite, one of my favorite tropes in... Uh, uh, you know, fiction, mainly fan fiction. There's a lot of fan fiction in this uh, whole, you know, kind of uh, trope. And it's the trope of the, the characters being under a truth spell or something and them confessing their love to each other or something like that. <laughs> the flavor is immaculate when that happens. Them, like... Being so, like, you know, moody and not wanting to tell each other anything and, like, you know, kind of avoiding each other. Kind of how Buffy has been with Spike, you know, trying to avoid him, not trying to, like, you know, talk to him at all. And then, in this episode, where we have the singing that brings out all the inner emotions. So good. So fucking good. <laughs> oh my god, I... Buffy's progression... Of finally, you know, reciprocating the emo the feelings that Spike has. Ah, oh, God. It's just, they really made us work for it. They really made us work for our bike couple. Like, it took us forever. Like, literally an entire fucking season for them to actually get to this point. And it took them for, forever to even get to the point where, like, they were good talking to each other. <laughs> and uh, just so good. Just amazing. And I love how, like, when was it? It was, like, middle of last season where Spike, like, professes love and was like, Hey, I really like you. How do you feel about me? Hmm? And Buffy was like, no, thank you. Uh, respectfully, no thank you. And it took forever for her to even, like, look at him normally after that. And then to get to this point, it just is so... The flavor is so good. <laughs> so good with them. Oh, God. I am being fed today, and I love it. I am so fucking full right now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, continuing with them. Uh, after, the, like, you know, the whole leave me alone uh, Spike thing. Then when Spike was trying to help with the demon, it was like, you know, I can help you, Buffy. And Buffy was like, did you just do, like, a whole fucking, you, you know, thing where you're like, leave me alone? Don't you want me to leave me alone? Don't you want me to leave you alone? And then Spike basically, like, walks out. And then Buffy's number here where... Wait, what was it? It was like, I touched the fire and it freezes me. I want the fire back. I just love this. Is this like Buffy's episode of like where she's like getting back into her groove of like getting that fire back and like getting like... This episode is just so good. And then you also bring in all the characters and like what they're going through. And it's like, this was actually a meaningful episode. Like it... Oh, God. Because then later, when, um, they, uh, when Buffy goes there and is like, uh, what was she doing? It was the whole, like, um, so she says that she was in heaven, then she, like, starts dancing, almost combusts right then and there, and then Spike stops her. God, just the whole, like, the entire episode, she's like, I don't 
you know, I'm just trying to live, but I, you know, I'm just playing the part. And then she's like, I touch fire, but I freeze. So I'm trying to get that fire back. And then Spike comes in and he's like, the only way to heal from all of this and to heal the things that happen is by living. And then Don comes in and he's like, yeah, you told me yourself. Living is the hardest thing in this life to do. And I love, like, the last number. Where do we go from here? Because, like, so much happened this episode where, like, they're just being emotional. They're letting out, like, literally all of their inner thoughts and feelings through song. And then the demon leaves. You know, we fought. You know, we won. Da, da, da. And then it's like, we have all these, like, things that we said or, like, sung in this case. And it's like, where do we... How do we continue on after this? Because... We have, you know, the whole Sandra and Anya. They are, like, you know, little, like, iffy on getting married. And then you have Giles basically singing about how he wants to leave and, like, just let Buffy deal with things on her own because she's an adult. But it's like, do you do that? I I'm so nervous that Giles is going to leave. Please don't do that to me. Please. I know you're not in the cast. But please. I can't. Oh, I'm so fucking nervous. But anyways, um, then we have even Dawn's like tiny ass number where it's like, no one really sees me. I'm the, you know, it's basically, you know, youngest child syndrome where you're just like, I'm, what's gonna happen or not even youngest child always gets a lot of attention. It's like middle child syndrome, <laughs> but she's the youngest there, obviously, um, so that's like what to you know obviously and then we have tara and willa where tara finds out that she was under willow's spell and like they were fighting but like tara doesn't remember it at all and then willow of course is going through that thing and then she finds out that buffy was in heaven so it's like a whole other thing and then we have buffy you know trying to live her life again and trying to find that fire and then we have Spike, who is just, like, he's so confused because he wants to be with Buffy, but then Buffy doesn't want him. So then he's like, what should I, should I just leave her alone? And should I just be by myself? Because being around her is just too painful. And then at the end... <sighs> this episode is absolutely fucking amazing. And I adore it so much. Literally... While watching, I was like, yeah, this is a good fucking episode. And now just talking about what the fuck happened, making me appreciate this episode even more. This episode a thousand percent deserves a 9.7 rating that it has. Honestly, more. Uh, possibly one of my favorite episodes of this entire show, if I am so bold as to say. Definitely top five. Definitely top five. <laughs> um goodness i've been like trying to think about like what are my top five episodes and this is definitely in it i don't care what the other five i had in mind were but this is definitely in it it's mm, the flavor is immaculate it's so good so fucking good anyways i feel like i've been talking forever but uh the next episode that we'll be watching is the next buffy episode episode eight Super excited about that one, um, because where do we go from here? Oh my god, I am so intrigued to see how Buffy and Spike are going to act in the next episode, because obviously, hello, we had our whole end kiss, the end, we had that whole thing, but what happens after that? I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. I hope to god that it won't be like... Buffy be like, oh, that wasn't me. That was the demon or something. I really don't think it will be. But a part, listen, I've been hurt too much by shows and my ships, okay? <laughs> I've been hurt too much. <laughs> so I'm being a little cautious, but I don't think they would do that. But anyways, goodness, this episode, I don't even have to say it. So fucking good. And, uh, <sighs> Yeah. Thank you until my beautiful patrons are on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!